it's going to be going online sometime soon. I'm going to keep that information to myself. Yeah, okay. Uh, but sometime next week, you'll be able to find, I believe they said, 50 of them online. Okay. Only 50. You guys, uh, um, if you're into Spiff Space, which I'm assuming you are because they're actually pretty sick. They're amazing. They put out, they're amazing. Uh, you definitely want to follow them on Twitter, put the alerts on so that you get that notification on your phone the moment they tweet that out. I think I've, I think I've spent at least $200 in Spiff Space gear so far. At least 200 Yeah. Because uh, I've got the joggers, two, three of the shirts. I've got the Ganon jacket. I've got some of the decals. Like, they've got such amazing gear. They really, they're, they're making, like, being nerdy is already kind of like in vogue in 2018 to begin with, but yeah. like, they, like to have the fashion alongside of it, it's really something else. Really something else. We do have our next set starting up right here. We got a winners a winners quarter set going on between Theo Mach, uh and uh, Wilby. Theo Mach, a very strong Zetterburn. I got the chance to see him play uh, at First Impact. Actually has a lot of advice, a really great guy in terms of offering his insight to uh, other players. It's actually thanks to his advice that a Adi managed to cause like seven upsets in a row and get second place, nearly first place, like one stock away uh, from winning that. And his opponent is also somebody else full of wisdom, yes, Will of course, be. The coach, the coach of uh, Cake Assault, right? Yeah, Virio's own Cake Assault, both of them now with Virio. Uh, so it's actually interesting to see these two, uh, you know, a bit more on the older side considering the general rivals crowd we see going at it. Still very smart and capable players in their own right. So they'll be starting off on Tower of Heaven, kind of a standard stage. And Theo trying to just space out and patiently wait out that recovery, but the tongue barely snatching his foot. And we're seeing similar play by Wilby, right? Nothing too committal. These guys recognize, yeah. oof, that DI. I think he was trying to DI out to prevent like a fo forward air follow up and DI'd out a little too hard and ended up dying for it. And you mentioned like the kind of like the two piece combos we've seen so far from them. You know, you don't want to leave yourself too much of an opening, especially against these two characters. Mm -hmm. Zetterburn can really punish you for your mistakes, and we've seen just how much poison Rano can rack up in such a short amount of time. Oh yeah, uh, Rano's edge guarding game absolutely terrifying. Like they've nerfed his forward air and his needles, and like it still like makes me like cry at night. And like that, that's what it used to do was like even more disgusting. Well, and that's you as an Absa player who yeah. has a very varied recovery. <laughs> yeah. Think about Zetterburn right now. Oh Think about God. Theo and the struggle that he's got to deal with if he's ever caught in that upbeat. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen it so far, and, you know, and really to the benefit of Theo not having to be forced into that fire, uh, the fire recovery. And there we go, stalling out at the top, and Theo has just the answer for it. It's like, okay, well, you're, you're stuck there for so long. I'm going to charge this down smash so that no matter how you mix up your horizontal landing, I'm still catching you and killing you. Absolutely. You're either going to you're gonna land into it or you're going to go off stage and be stuck in the same situation all over again. Mm -hmm. I oh. love the beach ball. I <laughs> love the beach ball, so it's incredible. Yeah, Smash and Splash Rano is a, is a piece of art. And, I mean, immediately Wilby finds his own stock, too. So these guys keeping completely even with each other. Nobody's enjoyed a stock lead for more than, like, five seconds. Wilby's working on finding himself that edge guard. That's like you said. That's what he really thrives off of in this matchup. Oh, I love the wizard's foot there coming down with it. Jab. jab oh, jab, 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 and it's all working. And the fire's on him too. He's got to be very careful not to get hit by this down smash, because you know Theo definitely wants it. Oh, he doesn't get the Dacus, and just like that, Theo catches the roll in with the down smash himself. Theo's gonna take that first one. Wilby had had a lot of signs of life. It looked like he was going to be able to bring that back uh, into a solid, uh, even game. But Theo managed to avoid that edge guard situation just long enough, uh, which is honestly always credit to the Zetter to be able to do that. Absolutely. Uh, Zetter, Absolutely. Zetter definitely going by current results, not as bad as everybody likes making him sound. But his offstage weakness is a serious like weakness. That's it's. I mean, you're playing a game with no ledges as a space animal, and you don't have an illusion, right? Like that's just a terrible recipe just by itself. But they find a way to make it work. They have their fake outs. They have their wall jump. I mean, you're able to cancel it too, so you know it makes it a little bit more, uh, a little more vague, a little more mysterious. So that's nice. Yeah. Uh, you have the dive kick well, but you can go low and then come back up high with your wall jumps. And there's also the ambiguous flip they added recently, where you can just dive kick but don't do the actual kick part. So you just leap upwards instead. It does have it does have little things. And uh, we'll be going to be opting. Oof, opting for blazing hideout. Very high platform for him to hang out on and do his like uh, wave movement on in that platform, which is great for Rano because he has fantastic ground speed but terrible air speed. He's a character that has to be constantly doing short jumps in order to do combos. Um, and this having a large horizontal Ooh. blast zone, that tends to be where he dies. But if you're going to be edge guarding, you don't care about the side of the size blast zone. You where know? are you going? There he goes, going into the forward air again. 
this is already such a far distance for Theo to have to make up. He's forced to use every single resource in the most predictable arc. And once again, another opportunity for Will be. Oh. Yeah, Theo just tries to mix it up a little bit with that fireball, but doesn't get enough height to actually land on stage with it. So Will be going to take that first stock. Oh my god! The soul read there for a moment, just barely missing that. And still keeping it going, knowing exactly how Will be is going to tech. Theo's instincts are just so amazing. The stronger hits now, Will be racking up this extra damage. Looking for a second stock now. Meanwhile, 148, yeah, that strong hit of forward air is going to do the trick. And you see that moment where just time stood still just for, for a couple frames there where it's like, yeah, uh, okay, cool, you got me. I, I earned this. Oh, just barely out of range. That's kind of big. Theo has the time to react and punish that. Oh, just barely whiffs his own aerial. Seeing it a I read little... the needle there. Yeah. Theo, Theo is definitely trying to press harder in these advantage states than he was in the previous game because he recognizes the deficit that's there. And he knows he needs to just start making it up a little bit, and he has now. He's got that slight percent lead. Trying to stop all of this platform movement, too, by throwing fireballs between that and the ground floor. It's going to be it here. Yep. Yeah, what a fantastic string there. The Dak is to finish, too. I actually, th this fireball usage is actually stifling Will be quite a bit. Ordinarily, when I see this matchup, it's the poison darts that are the most dominating projectile because it goes out so much faster. There can be so many more of them uh, per second. But uh, so far, you know, Wilby's trying to keep them all charged up, and Theo's the one controlling space. Strong hit of the fair there. Fireball two. Really tough recovery start right now. Going to be getting that Nair onto Wilby, and just like that, Wilby nearly at 100%. That was a wild hit. Wow. Box. Yeah, I, I don't think Theo was DIing at all, and I don't blame him. I wasn't expecting him to go that direction either. That was one of the worst trades of all time there. Very unfortunate for Theo. Still just in a very strong position, though. <laughs> It has the set, actually. I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, frogs do tend to dry out in hot, in hot weather. Yeah. The fireballs themselves, really. I mean, talk about even Pokemon Krogan's got the.